One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Oh, my mic wasn't on. Well, everyone probably heard me anyways. Um, that's how long the incident I'm about to tell you took. Is five seconds a long time, a short time? You can be the judge. So, oh, I guess maybe I have to get closer to you. Okay, I'm not close enough. That's the problem. <laughs> Um, so I was a weird, quirky kid. I um, was never very like popular in grade school. Uh, it turned out that I was autistic and didn't know it, so that was a big part of it. Um, but I had this like rare opportunity because my parents moved right before I started high school, so I got to go to a new school where nobody knew me. So fresh start. It's a great opportunity. So the goal was like, okay, I wasn't a cool kid at the last school. At the very least, let's try to just not be the weird kid again. Let's try to go for like neutral or, you know, something like that. So I started this new school first year and um, I'm trying to just, you know, kind of stay under the radar. A few weeks in, I come in, I'm in homeroom one morning and uh, I'm sitting at my desk. And so different schools, I don't know if you've noticed, I've been to a bunch of different schools. And so some of them have, you know, like wood desks and chairs and some of them have plastic chairs and some of them are metal. And so this particular school had the like laminated hardwood desk with the, like the frame. And then the seat was like hardwood and the back was hardwood. Um, that's relevant. You'll see why later. Um, so I'm in this I'm in my seat and I'm not quite in the center of the class, but I'm like kind of right next to it, like one row over. And I'm this particular morning, I'm sitting there, the teacher is going on, he's droning on, he's talking about lesson plans or whatever we're going to be doing for that, you know, day or whatever. But I am daydreaming. I'm like, I got bored and my mind wandered off and... It's not just daydreaming. I'm talking like Olympic level daydreaming <laughs> where like I'm physically present, but like you could be like, hey, Lacey, do you want a million dollars? Blink. And I would be no richer. Um, so I'm sitting there and I'm kind of slouching because I'm just, you know, not really paying attention. But um, you know, there's some things that like our brains still like control, even though we're not conscious of it. Like when we're sleeping, we don't stop breathing. That's pretty important. Um, but there's other things and we can be awake and our body still does them. Um, so in this case, it turned out that my brain or my consciousness was not present, but my brain was. And it was like, my brain's like, oh, you know what? I'm noticing that there's some pressure buildup in the system. And so it was like, well, it could have, you know, given me a tip and I could have done something with that. Um, but it didn't and just decided to, you know, take care of business. So I'm here, you know, again, a million miles away daydreaming being in my bedroom playing with legos or whatever i you know did back then that made me happy and i'm sitting slouched in this chair and my brain decides okay there's there's pressure let's release it and so it does open the pod bay doors hell who let the dogs out apparently my brain um so i'm sitting there and this starts to happen one mississippi still nope two mississippi Nope, at the end of two Mississippi, all of a sudden my conscious, wait a minute, something's happening. I snap back by the end of three Mississippi, I realize what is happening and I snap to attention. I try to sit up straight, but by then it's too late. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, the whole thing is out. Now, if you don't know, the reason why I mentioned the, the hardwood is because the physics of sound, if you have a flat hard surface, <laughs> It works as a makeshift amplifier. So I'm sitting here slouched on this hardwood chair, and this happens, and I'm basically sitting on an amplifier, almost right in the center of this classroom. And of course, I didn't, you know, again, I wasn't conscious of it until more than halfway through it. And so of course, everyone turns and looks, or some of them you know, don't, some of them were too embarrassed, but there's a lot of laughing and disgust and embarrassment. And one of the kids, like, right next to me, you know, said some snarky comment. I don't remember what he said, but, you know. So I was just, like, I was mortified. But thank God the teacher had a heart. He didn't even acknowledge it. He just went back to talking. People were laughing. There was commotion. But he's like, nope, just keep talking. And, you know, 30 seconds, 60 seconds, everyone kind of calms down. We get back into class. People might, you know, shoot a glance at me still, but, like, it's, you know. And then after class, I got a comment or two. So I was like, okay, great. Am I now I'm gonna be weird fart girl for the rest of high school. Um, but fortunately, because I was quirky in a number of different ways, that just became one of several bullet points in my repertoire. And uh, 
as it turned out, I had a lucky break because a little bit later in the year, I got hit in the head with a baseball bat and I ended up needing stitches. Now, now actually, it's a good thing. <laughs> I mean, it sucked at the time, but it turned out that, you know, that happened on the weekend. And I came into class, back into homeroom on Monday morning with my stitches clearly visible. And I sit down in my chair and that kid next to me who made the snarky comment was like, hey, cool stitches. <laughs> so I went from weird fart girl to cool stitches girl. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, a little balance out there. Um, now, <laughs> so that, that was a bit, of, a bit of, you know, retribution there or redemption for me. But... So I want to leave you on this, this note, this little piece of wisdom. Uh, we're all going through stuff, obviously, and some of that stuff we have to, you know, we have to suck it up, we have to hold it in. But I can tell you that Burdock is a safe space. They do have padded chairs. If you're holding something in, you can let it out. Thank you.